to fix some gaps so some little homies don't get out. Tell them what we're doing. We'll give them the full rundown when we get out there, but basically, we're gonna go fix. We're gonna go put some eyes on the problem, see if we can come up with a solution. Fix you again when we get out there. Really, it was a fellow sucks when you truck. Kevin, those are your mud I don't want someone else taking them, so I'll take them. Thanks. Can't escape it. Yeah, it's a lifestyle. Look at him go. I'm really just thirst trapping right now. Dude, I'm in. Some of them stays in, huh? If you want to start doing the stays, I can start to finish this off here. I think this is the only one where it's snapped, ain't it? Yeah, everything else is up. So, today we came down here to walk a bowl. Uh, last couple times we've uh, worked cattle, we've known the fence, we've noticed the fences look pretty poor in some spots. So, we came down here to put some eyes on it. And if we put some eyes on it, we're going to put some heads on it, see if we can get some ideas. To, to fix her up, make her look real nice. Cause one thing, I don't know if y'all know this or not, but cows get through fence and there's road, they don't put eyes on both sides of the road. So uh, we're here, we're here to put some heads together and find solutions to fix this fence. Put some heads together. Your mom's super tough and she looks just like you. really cool. You remind me a lot of her. Though. I've been told I look a lot like my mom, but this is the first time somebody's told me I look like somebody else's mom. Well, first time for everything. Loyal viewers, one of Bagel Weeklies. I know that on the bio in our channel it says that there will be Winnebago Weeklies posted weekly. It's why it's called Winnebago Weekly because it's supposed to be weekly. And you know what? It, it's kind of turned into like Winnebago every other month. And you know, we're sorry about that. So we're going to try our dandiest to produce more videos of us doing stuff. I just got. No excuses. No excuse, so I just want to apologize to the citizens of Winnebago for my failure on my end. I'm not doing my job. We're going to try our best to get back to what they used to be. Back to your roots. Back to our roots. Starting here. A family fun content. Family fun content. Family Continuity. friendly fun. Consistent family fun content. Fire. Consistent fire. Keep it burning. Keep it burning. Keep We're it rolling. Keep wood in the fire. That's right. Our fire's gone out, but we lit it back up. Keep the coals hot. We're back. We'll see. We'll see. If we're back. We're going to put eyes on it. We're going to figure back. it out. We're going to put eyes on it. We got Ty Rogers here now. He's going to start editing now. You're not going to start making them? Man, I got so much on my plate already. It's just... What all do you have on your plate? Man, like I've got shirts that I gotta fold and then I've got like that other thing and I answer emails sometimes and then you know like mental health breaks whatever they call them these days where I just tie time that's probably what they should be called
called? Tie time takes a lot of your work time. Most of it, actually. Yeah. I don't realize. Who's the hardest work employee at Rodeo Time? Ty Rogers. That's right. This right here is our hardest working employee. Look at him go. Hands of speed. You ain't never seen somebody wire fence like this. Do you live moss? Do you live it every day? Uh, translate. What's moss? A lot. Mm hmm. Live a lot. Taco Bell? I live a little bit. I'm being up. Uh... I've been a little short all my life. Same, brother. Are you just rolling? Sorry. On your feet? I was gonna get you more, more you wire to fix. Butt cheeks, dude. I'm new here. You've been here for eight months. Yeah. People don't know that. Yeah, people they know do. that. You've been in the rodeo times. The same people watch rodeo times watch these. That could be anyone. Yeah. I doubt anybody that doesn't watch the rodeo times watches these. That could have been anyone. No. It was you. I don't like these pliers. That's the problem. It's the pliers. Thank you. Always blame the equipment. It's never your fault. Dude, these more maker pliers are it. You guys should get them. Dale had a pair of them, and I was like, oh, I like using these more than I like using regular pliers. So instead of just using his all the time, I went and bought my own. Best investment I ever made. Ever? Yeah. Ever. Ever, ever? I love them. See, the thing about these pliers is... They ain't no good. I don't love them. I wonder how many keyboard warriors... It's no good! Telling us that we're doing this wrong. It happens every time. Yeah, Top, just in case you're new to this, you're going to get some people on here saying you're doing stuff wrong. They probably never touch a fence in their life. That one video of you uh, tying a square knot, when Dale was like, trying to show you how to tie a square knot, you should have seen the stupid comments on that. Yeah, I think I went back and grabbed some of them. Yeah, there, there are some idiots. <laughs> I ain't no square knot. I ain't no cowboy. He's wearing a ball cap. Better not butterfly knot. Weren't you in Boy Scouts? Got our hands on it now. I put my head on it. That's right. I'm gonna get this part on camera. Look at this wire. <laughs> so, what did we learn today? Well, if you're gonna put eyes on something that needs fixing, Go put eyes on it. Then you sit back, put your head on it, think about it, think about how to fix it, and the right way to go about fixing it. And then you stick your hands on it and your money. You gotta cover the three bases. That's right. That's just. That's baseball. That's just simple physics, that's all that is. It doesn't matter how the chicken crossed the road, but these cows will never get to. You know? And I can't find my sunglasses. It's bright today. Will you thirst trapping for anybody? I'm just trying to get my tan so I'm ready for this wedding. What wedding? Uh, one of my college buddies I play college soccer with. Getting super married. Shame to see. Another one bites the dust, huh? One bites the dust. No, not us. We don't bought the dust. We're married to the game. We've never bought the dust. Mm -mm. We'll never buy it. No. This is not for sale for us. No. This is what's for sale for us. Winnebago. Winnebago. Ty Rogers. He almost has two done. So many to get done, they'll the piece on. Hey, he's on a roll. He can't be stopped. No. Hell yeah, yeah. Are we leaving that bottom of the line? No. Tie it up. Tie it, tie. Come on, tie, tie. Just because it's in my name don't mean I'm good at it. That's how I feel about reading. <laughs> Scale 1 to 10. How much do snakes bother you? Is there one within snakes reaching me? Hypothetically, sure. Well, I would say a 10, but 
but I think a healthy fear of snakes is pretty pretty key to a long and prosperous life. Yeah. You can't be out there messing with them and stuff. Out. No. Yeah. We don't, we don't do that. Don't do that. We're supposed to keep it. Sorry, Kenny. Well, we saw a problem. We put our heads together. We looked at it. We brainstormed. And we fixed the problem. We fixed all these gaps in the fence. The fence is sturdier now. The cows are going to get on the road, get hit by cars, run away, do cow things. Um, yeah, really got a suntan. So, just drop. I'm all tanned up. It's just. Been the a fence good day. just looks better now, too. Look at this fence has probably been around maybe 40 or 50 years before we were even brought into this world. Maybe not 50. I mean, 30 or 40 is not. I mean, that is just a good stretch, huh? That is. It's a Friday, though. That's yeah. That's a job for another time. There's another stretch over there that it gets pretty spotty. Pretty. We have had actually calves and yearlings get through. I think it was with you, Kevin, wasn't it? It was with Carson. Yeah. I guess. Yeah. On tack. Mm -hmm. But she right here is the pins where we'll work all them calves and cows. So. As soon as we're done with them, they'll just get dumped out in this spot. We'll hold them up for a little bit. And while they're being held up, there's a lot of pressure on them. So when there's pressure on cows, they start looking for holes and stuff. And yep. There's a lot of holes right here. And as you can see, pretty active road with vehicles going 75 plus miles per hour. No holes, no mows. No holes, no mows. And as Cole Stonder says all the time, and he, you guys can back me up, he says this a lot. It's a great job, Willie and Ty. You guys always do so good on everything that you guys do. He does say that. He does say it all the time. He's not here to say it now, but if he was here, like he'd be saying it. If he's watching this video, he's thinking it. So yeah. He's thinking it. He's proud of us. Hopefully he sees it. It's going. And he'll thank us. Yeah. Montana man. Thank y'all. He owes us. Try.